Today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 22, verse 3. For it is because of your dead works that I have caused this last covenant and this church to be built up unto me, even as in days of old. Okay, the gospel of Jesus Christ is true, and it's complete. But different parts of it were released to his people at different times in history. Because God knew that certain things would be better revealed to different people. I mean, in days of old, only a limited amount of information was given because that is all people could handle with everything else going on. You see, it's line upon line, precept upon precept. People had to learn and understand and be willing to follow the old laws and live by those for a time before God felt ready and felt the people were ready to receive the new laws. And of course, those who have read the Bible know what happened. People couldn't even keep the old laws. They would for a time, but then they would become prosperous and prideful and puffed up in themselves and they'd forget God. And they'd break their covenants and they'd end up falling temporally and spiritually and suffering and hopefully some of them are repenting even now and they would lose a lot simply because they didn't stay true to God and hold to the promise that they covenanted and because they sought temporal things over spiritual things. You see, they once had faith, but then they chose things that were outside faith, outside goodness, outside God, and hence they lost their faith. I mean, some repented, but some didn't. Some couldn't. Their sins were too severe, but the atonement will take care of that. The atonement will take care of all, will take away all the sins, even, even at the last day of judgment. Anyway, and when the restoration of the church came by God through Joseph Smith and any prophets after him, the fullness of the gospel was slowly restored according to how God saw how ready the people were. And the works of the past, the works done in the days of Moses, didn't apply anymore. It was a restored church. It was a complete church. The old works didn't apply anymore. Those who had done things before needed to do them again because it was a new and everlasting covenant. It was a new covenant in that all old works needed to be redone in order to solidify and authenticate the commitment previously made. Because the law of God was the same, but it was more complete now. So hence why why everything needed to be done again, because then new ordinances and covenants would come after those. Because you see, you can't live by a lesser law all the time. I mean, the lesser law helps us to prepare for the greater law, as do lesser commandments help us to prepare to keep and honor greater commandments. You see, it's all line upon line, but we can't live in the previous line forever. Eventually, we need to take courage through the atonement of Jesus Christ and look, for hev look to Heavenly Father for more direction as to how to go on. Because He has wonderful blessings for us as we're just willing to listen and obey to what He gives us when He gives it to us. We all have our various stages of readiness. And Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are patient with us. 
And they're always willing to teach us if we're willing to listen, but we always need to be willing to listen. So that they can build us up that we might be able to be ready to accept each new line and precept as they come. And Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ wants, want what's best for us, and they love us unconditionally. And we shouldn't be afraid to love them and let them build us up, that we might be able to make all the wonderful covenants and ordinances that they have to offer. For the future is today. The gospel is complete. And we can embrace it to its fullness now. So what are we waiting for? And I, I love you all very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.